still be remembered as the first person of Jewish faith to be on a national ticket. He broke those boundaries. Remembering a political powerhouse, tonight reaction is pouring in from across the country following the death of former Connecticut Senator Joe Lieberman. Thanks so much for joining us here for the News at 11. I'm Keisha Grant. And I'm Mike Heideck. Former Senator Lieberman died today in New York City. According to his family, he passed away after complications from a fall. The 82-year-old spent decades in politics, both here on the state level in Connecticut and in our nation's capital. We have live team coverage starting with NBC Connecticut's Matt Austin. He's live in Hartford with a look back at Lieberman's extensive career. Matt. Yeah, so Mike and Keisha, Lieberman was a Stanford native and basically got his political start here at the state capitol. He climbed, of course, to much higher levels, even eyeing the White House at one point, all the while breaking barriers and staying true to his personal beliefs. It's a very sad day for Connecticut. Considered one of the state's political icons, Joe Lieberman rose from serving in the state Senate to Connecticut Attorney General to a U.S. Senator. There is no denying that Joe Lieberman is a major political figure in our state, a piece of our history, and a, a, a statesman. In more than two decades in the Senate, the Democrat turned independent, was unafraid of breaking from party lines. Lieberman supported gay rights, abortion rights, and environmental causes. But his backing of the Iraq war damaged his popularity and he stirred controversy after publicly criticizing President Bill Clinton for his affair with a White House intern. Lieberman, because of his tendency to choose his own personal principles and his own idea of what was good for Connecticut, often left him standing on the outside of both political parties. Lieberman was the first Jewish candidate on a major party's presidential ticket. He nearly won the vice presidency alongside Al Gore in the contentious 2000 presidential race. Of course, I think about 2000. I don't I don't think about it every day. Um, but, I mean, it was an it was an incredible chapter in my life, one I never could have dreamed of. In 2004, he sought the Democratic presidential nomination, but later dropped out. Then a couple of years later, in what he calls his most thrilling single political moment, he won re-election to the Senate, running as an independent after losing the Democratic primary to now Governor Ned Lamont. Lieberman sat down with NBC Connecticut before his retirement in 2013 after four terms in the Senate. What do you want your legacy to be when the history books are written? I guess I hope they say that um, I, 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 I believed in bipartisanship. Um, and I and as a result, I lived it. I practiced it. As a result, I got a lot of things done. And at the time, Lieberman told us he wanted to keep working and he was sort of active in politics, though more on the sidelines and was also working as an attorney. He had been a Yale Law School graduate. Live tonight at the state capitol, Matt Austin, NBC Connecticut News. Keisha, back to you. Matt, he leaves behind a tremendous legacy. Thank you. Political heavyweights continue to share their sentiments on Lieberman's passing tonight. Governor Ned Lamont writes, while the senator and I had our political differences, he was a man of integrity and conviction, so our debate about the Iraq war was serious. I believe we agreed to disagree from a position of principle. Lamont adds they remained friends after their race for Senate. Former presidential candidate Al Gore releasing a statement tonight saying it was an honor to stand with Lieberman on the campaign trail. He also says Joe was a man of deep integrity who dedicated his life to serving his country. He was a truly gifted leader whose affable personality and strong will made him a force to be reckoned with. Senator Lieberman often crossed political aisles several times over his career. He was friends, close friends, with former Arizona Senator Republican John McCain. Lieberman even endorsed him over President Barack Obama in 2008. McCain passed away in 2018 after a battle with brain cancer, and Lieberman was among those chosen to give the eulogy at his funeral. After news of the former senator's death broke, McCain's daughter, Megan McCain, posted a photo of the two men on social media with the message, I love you, Joe. And former President Barack Obama expressed his condolences to the Lieberman family. He went on to say, in part, quote, Joe Lieberman and I didn't always see eye to eye, but he had an extraordinary career in public service, including four decades fighting for the people of Connecticut. He also worked hard to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell 
and helped us pass the Affordable Care Act. In both cases, the politics were difficult, but he stuck to his principles because he knew what he was doing the right thing. The former senator's passing hits especially hard here in the state of Connecticut. Politicians are remembering the late senator. NBC Connecticut's Jeremy Chen is here with what they're saying tonight. Jeremy? Yeah, Mike and Keisha, when you mention the name of Joe Lieberman to anyone who's elected to higher office here in Connecticut, not only will they say they have worked with him, but also talk about the mark his work has left on them. The news of former Senator Joe Lieberman's death continues to reverberate across the state. The longtime politician worked with many Connecticut leaders, including Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro. We worked together to pass the legislation to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell, uh, you know, to provide support for educators. She says working with him as a colleague opened her eyes to his character. He was a gentleman. He was kind. He held firm to his beliefs. Beliefs that helped push the Affordable Care Act into law, but also led him to working with Republicans in Congress, something Senator Richard Blumenthal saw with his own eyes. No matter how deep our divisions, no matter how troubling our dysfunction, Joe Lieberman will always be a model of bipartisanship. Representative John Larson says while he had disagreements with Senator Lieberman, he respects the work he did for the country. I don't think anyone would ever doubt the sincerity and the integrity that he brought to every endeavor he was involved in. Former Governor Daniel Malloy knew Senator Lieberman before he even got into politics. Both were Stanford natives. He says Lieberman was a devoted public servant. He always gave it his all. He, he was 100 percent in. Uh, if he told you he was going to get something done, uh, he, he, he couldn't guarantee it. Uh, but you knew he was going to work as hard as he possibly could to get it done. And In a statement, Senator Chris Murphy says Senator Lieberman fought hard for what he believed was right, saying in an era of political carbon copies, Joe Lieberman was a singularity, one of one. And former Senator Lieberman's funeral will happen in Stamford on Friday, and his family says there will also be an additional memorial service at a later date. Live in the newsroom, Jeremy Chen, NBC Connecticut News. Keisha, I'll send it back to you. Jeremy, thank you. Joe Lieberman made one of his final public, public appearances right here in Connecticut earlier this month. He spoke at Quinnipiac University at a critical conversation series on the 7th. According to the university website, Lieberman called for unity during a divisive time.